Well, hey guys, I just wanted to take you through the day in life of running a coffee trailer, uh, getting it prepped the day before, uh, getting up early, getting it ready, prepped uh, the morning of, taking it to the site, opening it up, um, serving customers, and then also closing it and getting it back here. So there's a lot of steps involved. Uh, my checklist is uh, pretty big. So I'm gonna show you, we're uh, sitting the night before right now. So I'm gonna be working just a two hour shift tomorrow. So pretty quick, but I uh, just wanna take you through the trailer and on the outside too, to kind of show you uh, what I've done so far to get it prepped for tomorrow. All right, so starting with the water tank, I have about 20 gallons of water in uh, this 40 gallon water tank right now. So this is plenty for tomorrow for a two hour shift. And then uh, it's going down the line here. Um, I check my, my hopper before I go out. Um, I'll probably need to refill that tomorrow before I open. And then down here we have more coffee. Got my rags back there ready to go. I use the blue ones for uh, wet rags, black ones for dry rags. And um, got my main coffee for uh, espresso. I got my decaf right here. It's already grounded up. Let's see, I have just a lot of supplies ready to go for tomorrow. All the sugars, cinnamon, water, honey, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then going down here to the uh, refrigerator. I need to get some more oat milk in here, but um, we have a couple of milks. I'll probably bring one other milk tomorrow. Uh, that'll be plenty for the shift that I'm doing. Have my half and half, apple cider, everything ready to go. Uh, for ice, I'll fill that up in the morning. And uh, have some more coffee right here, ready to go. And then we have our cups, supplies, everything over here. We have our eight ounce cups, our 12 ounce cups, 16 ounce for ice drinks. Got our sleeves, our forks, straws, uh, sugars, everything like that. Uh, drink stoppers right there. We have our lids down here. So this is where I'll put the drinks before I hand them out and uh, put the lids on and I'll be good to go. So let's roll outside and check out the prep out there. So coming on the outside now, I have my generators right here that I already filled up with gas. Uh, each tank takes a little over a gallon and they'll last a good six to six and a half hours, totally full. Um, so I'll fill both of these up. And then just going around, I'm gonna show you how I hook on the trailer. And hopefully I can show you this tomorrow morning. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to do with me holding the phone and also attaching it, but I'll try my best. So what I do is I back my truck up to the trailer the night before, but I don't hook it because I'm too paranoid uh, that someone might steal it um, or break into my truck and hot wire it and get out of here with the trailer. So I just have it hovering over the, the ball right here so that way I just take this uh, guard off and then it's as easy as just lowering this hooking it on and getting to the site so um, another thing I've done that I didn't really tell you on board was oh one thing real quick water so this is where I'll fill up the water right here um, so again I didn't fill up for tomorrow just because I had enough left but for weekend shifts and everything that are about five or six hours I'll fill up that 40 gallon water tank all the way. Um, so one thing I didn't tell you was like the night before I am prepping, I'm getting cups in, uh, restocking inventory basically. Um, so that's pretty much it for the night before. I make it pretty easy. I'll get pastries in there too. We have our bakers that deliver our pastries for us and um, they'll be ready to go for the next day. So I'll see you guys in the morning. All right guys, so it's about uh, 5.45 in the morning here and I'm about to take the trailer out. Um, it's very cold as you can see. Uh, it's about 28 degrees and it's very cold. Um, so I wanna just take you around and just kinda tell you what I'm doing uh, just before I leave to get the trailer ready to go. So coming in the trailer first, uh, I have my ice ready to go. I don't have a lot just because it's very cold. A lot of people are gonna wanna um, drink hot drinks uh, I got my pastries right here ready to go. And uh, one thing I do is make sure that I'm totally secure. So like I have my soaps and everything in my sink. I also put the uh, the syrups out as well. So those are secure. This grinder uh, is bolted into the countertop. Same for the espresso machine, the pastry case. You can see the T's uh, have this going around it to keep them from moving. Uh, I have a strap around this guy right here, and then also this is bolted into the countertop. So 
everything is secure. So I just want to double check it. Usually I'll put a bunch of pastries right here if I have a big day ahead. Uh, let's see. And then I always want to make sure this guy's locked. So these are just baby proof locks right here. And um, I failed one time to not lock that. And it was a costly mistake because all my cold brew went everywhere. And it was a disaster. It took about 20, 30 minutes to clean up and I was late to open. Uh, so yeah. And then I make sure this cooler is uh, tied down and everything. And I have just a couple of different milks in there. Uh, you know, just for backups and everything. And then I have my chair um, tied down as well. So everything is secure and we're ready to go. And I'll uh, show you how I attach the trailer to the truck. Um, before I attach the trailer to the truck, I just want to show you, I'm going to disconnect power. So inside already on the trailer, I turned the, uh, the breakers off. I'm just going to unscrew this guy from the trailer, from the 50, uh, 58 plug. So I'm just going to sit over here. And then I'll just close this up. And now we'll go over there. All right, so now I'm going to lower the trailer down to the ball. So obviously I already took that guard off. And guys, this is an F-150, so I really need like an F-250 in order to set this a little bit higher. So I don't have a ton of clearance uh, with the foot of this uh, jack right here. I want to take this, uh, this wood out, but um, for the most part it works. So I'm on my way to the site. It's about 10 minutes away from where we live. So it's not too bad. Usually where we set up, we like to do it pretty close to where we live. Um, and uh, fortunately, where we live is around busy areas. Uh, so we're not like close to downtown Memphis, but we are in the outskirts. And um, really the outskirts of Memphis don't have a lot of third wave coffee shops. And so um, it's really cool that we can uh, bring that to the areas that don't have it, the specialty coffee shops that is. And uh, yeah, so it's definitely a privilege to, to do this and uh, for people to allow us to do it. Um, where we're going today, uh, a property manager gave me the, the go ahead to set up there. And we've actually been approached several, several times by the, the developer there, great guy, um, wanting to do a storefront. And uh, so, although that's not in our plans right now, especially with COVID and everything, staying mobile is where we, where we want to be at. Uh, but doing a storefront is definitely in our future. Um, so, but I could probably see us doing another trailer or a truck before uh, doing a storefront. So, so what I'll do is um, I'll try to set up the camera here when I get there of us pulling the trailer in. And again, it's just me running it today. Um, so I'm going to get in the trailer there and then also opening and uh, serving customers, making drinks and everything like that. So, uh, but I'll show you how we get the trailer there and then um, prep everything and open everything up and serve customers. So see you there. Let's go. go. 